X-Men first class director Matthew Vaughn, who is also the director of the upcoming Argyle film starring Henry Cavill, made it abundantly clear that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead, but he does believe it can be brought back to life via Deadpool 3. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Let's get into this over here. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. Vaughn spoke on Bro Bible's post-credit podcast to promote his upcoming Argyle film. And he said, the few snippets that I know about Deadpool versus Wolverine or Wolverine versus Deadpool, I'm sure that argument between Ryan and Hugh is happening as we speak are unbelievable. That's going to be the jolt. The Marvel Universe is about to have a jolt of them and it's going to bring that body back to life. So in order to bring a body back to life, it has to be dead, right? So he's admitting that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead and it needs to be brought back to life by Deadpool 3. And he says, I think Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are about to save the whole Marvel Universe. So I think it's hilarious that he's trying to kind of maybe hype up Deadpool 3. And but he's also admitting that they've actually killed. The, it's already dead. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead and only Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman can kind of save it uh, from their own their own problems. Um, he did go on and say that he does hope that uh, it allows uh, Marvel to tell good X-Men films moving forward. He says, I'm a genuine fan of the X-Men. All I want is for the movies to be as good as they should be. I agree. I agree. We should get great X-Men films. I think he made one of the best X-Men films uh, out there. I think uh, X-Men First Class is one of the best X-Men films. It's right up there with X2. Uh, I think those are the two best, uh, the best X-Men films. And then, the, then obviously the first one is probably right there, uh, third for me. But I really love uh, X-Men First Class. The character work in there with Magneto and um, Charles Xavier is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, really, really well done film. Uh, can't speak enough praises about that. Uh, but interestingly, Vaughn had previously uh, noted that the Marvel Cinematic Universe had killed killed itself. Uh, he spoke with Screen Rain at New York Comic Con, and he said, I think there's been so many bad superhero movies as well that it's like when the Western got, uh, you make so many that you get bored of the genre. Not because the genre is bad, but because the films are bad. So he's pointing out that uh, the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead because they made so many terrible films. No one wants to go see those movies anymore. Obviously, you can lump in DC in there as well. They made a bunch of bad films too. Uh, I think uh, causing um, people to be basically just like not even want to give it a chance because the films have been so terrible. Uh, he went on to point out uh, his own kind of uh, experience. He says, I was old enough, sadly, when Batman and Robin came out and it was terrible. I was a big Batman fan and we were like, ah, and then superheroes stopped and then they came back. Now I'll be intrigued to see how the Marvels does. And we know how the Marvels did. Absolutely terrible. Uh, did $199 million at the box office, did not even break that $200 million mark according to the numbers. We know that it had a $274 million budget as of September 2022, so that didn't even include uh, any kind of uh, post-production or reshoot work that they did in 2023. We know they did do some reshoot pickups, so that budget is probably a lot higher than that $274 million mark. So it lost a lot of money and people just did not like the movie at all. And then obviously you had Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania um, earlier uh, in 2023. I think it was like February is when it came out. Only did $463.6 million worldwide. And this was the film that was supposed to be the launching point for basically their next phase. They were going to be introducing their next Thanos level threat in Kang the Conqueror and the movie lost money. Uh, because it had an estimated $200 million production budget. It's probably higher, given the fact that seemingly all of their films are a lot higher than what we what their initial estimated production budgets are. So even in even with that $200 million production budget, though, it needed to do $500 million to break even. It clearly did not do that. So that was a big stinker as well. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did indeed make some money. Uh, but again, that was kind of the end of their story with James Gunn leaving the Marvel Cinematic Universe and going over to DCU, where he is going to hope to revive that franchise with Superman Legacy. We'll see what happens there. A lot is riding on that film, I think. And what's interesting, though, about Vaughn is I think he's made a bunch of really good films, but his recent comments don't really like inspire a lot of hope uh, as far as like what his tastes are, uh, where he's describing this film as unbelievable and saying that they're going to save it. Well, he said the flash was like a great film. <laughs> and uh, from what I've, what I've heard, it was not. 
So uh, that so I don't know if we can really take a lot of what he's saying um, to heart. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I think it's obvious that the Mar that we can believe that he thinks that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead. There's so much evidence of that. People are tuning out in droves. We thought Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania might have been the bottom uh, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then <laughs> here comes the Marvel saying, "Nope, we can go even lower." And not only are we seeing it go lower uh, at the box office. Uh, in, the, in the theatrical releases, but we are also seeing it decline on Disney Plus as well. Obviously, they released the Echo series uh, just this month. It has a 6.1 on IMDb and a 61% on Rotten Tomatoes. We don't really have any good viewership data. Nielsen hasn't dropped that stuff. Usually it takes a month for Nielsen to uh, share their information, but we do have Samba TV's like top 10 chart, and they have Echo um, uh, in ninth on when the week that it came out. But then in the sub subsequent week, which you can see right here, it is nowhere on the top 10. So people, I think, clearly uh, did not watch it. it. People aren't really talking about it anymore. And it's just kind of going to sit there and <laughs> no one's going to watch it. And it's not going to drive subscriptions to Disney+. Plus. Just It's just a loser. And it probably lost them a bunch of money on there as well. So you're seeing a decline there, I think. Um, on the TV side as well, you can point to Secret Invasion, etc. I think Loki Season 2 had worse viewership than Loki Season 1 as well, despite having uh, a lot more subscribers on Disney+. Plus. So these shows are no longer driving subscriptions. They're not uh, driving eyeballs. People aren't watching them, and they're finding better things to do with their time. So I think it's very obvious that uh, his assertion that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is dead, there's plenty of evidence to uh, point to that. So uh, that is what uh, Matthew Vaughn had to say. He is admitting that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is indeed dead. Let me know what you guys make of what he had to say. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.